Welcome everyone, you may be in a situation where you're trying to go on the internet on your Nintendo Switch and you see right here, registration is required to use this network. So I'm going to explain why this happens and what you can do to solve it. So the reason why this happens is because the DNS server you're connecting to requires authentication. So let's just tap on next and see what happens. And what it should do is it should bring you to some sort of website. So I've set a custom DNS server and this custom DNS server is going to bring me to the Switch Brew DNS. However, well, when you're here, you're not actually brought to the proper internet, you are not connected. So you may be in a hotel, if you are, you may be brought to a different page, and in this page, it will have authentication in order for you to connect to the internet. If that's the case, follow the instructions and you'll be good to go. If you are you know, unable to follow the instructions, then what I recommend you do is you connect to the same network on your phone, you will also be brought to the internet on your phone, and you just follow the instructions and you will be good to go. However, well, if that's not working, is what you can do. I want you to press the X to end this, and we'll click on OK. And we'll just wait for this to get, uh, do its thing. And once it's done, we just need to change the DNS server. So just tap on that same Wi-Fi network, change settings, scroll down, DNS settings, tap on this, manual, primary DNS, and just set this to 1.1.1.1. So 1.1.1.1. OK, save. OK, connect to this network. And now this should work without any issues. And if this does not work, what that means is you're connecting to a network which blocks Nintendo servers. Very rare that this is the case unless you're you know, bringing your Nintendo Switch to school, which, OK, you do you, although I brought mine in last week. But, but anyway, uh, you know, some Wi-Fi networks will block you from using your Nintendo Switch uh, because they'll block the Nintendo servers. If that's the case, the only recommendation really is to just use your hotspot. Set up a hotspot, connect your hotspot on your Nintendo Switch, and then you'll be good to go. But you can see that I've solved the issue, and I'm able to connect to my network personally. So, hopefully this video did help you out. If it did, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're brand new. Make sure to check out my playlist on the end screens for a bunch of Nintendo Switch tips and tricks. And with that being said, thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye-bye.